Okay, this is Ruben Lowe, and it's Saturday morning here in McAllen, Texas. This little little update in my book review of Influence, The uh, Psychology of Persuasion. So I'm like halfway through this book. What's really funny is it talks about using humor. Humor is a very good way of getting attention and smiling and even... Uh, what do they call it, canned um, laughter. It, it changes the um, mindset of your audience. All right? it, it makes them more positive, it makes them more receptive, which is really interesting because as I'm reading in this book, my wife was watching the uh, internship, which was with... Uh, um, well, that actor, Vaughn, get his first name, and uh, Ian um, Wilson, and they were using exactly that strategy with the team in the movie. It was, it was amazing. Okay, they were, they were using, they were using humor every chance they got, which is. I'm like, saw it right there. That was something when you can, we can do that. When you can appeal to somebody or, you know, as they're reading the text, they're seeing the exact process being demonstrated. Very, hugely effective in, in training or learning. It's amazing. So I would, I would, um, I'm going to wrap my brain around that and figure out how to implement that in our training. I, I, last night, oh gosh, I can't remember his name. He's up in Houston. He did the, um, the training last night for the, uh, Finance Friday, and he just does an excellent job. He just, uh, I feel bad that I can't remember his name. And it's, a uh, you know, at the same time, and they, they also had faster. I had somebody I hope, I was hoping to get on that they didn't tune in, but I promoted it again. Um, to him that's next Friday and they do it every Friday and uh, the fast start Friday and they do a very good job of covering compensation on fast start Friday we are uh, we're gonna have our training here coming up in about an hour and uh, I'm got my get ready to take my notes the something I've uh, I've come to a realization with uh, my marketing and all the people that I have in the counter. So I hit like 47 for this month, uh, not one of my record months. And what it is is the uh, getting getting to know them is one, right? And, and two is the way we are uh, offering our financial education and help them target whatever it is. Just ask them, so what is it about our, uh, you know, the, you know, you'd hope to be something that would help you in financial literacy or financial, more fun, getting more financial information. I, what I do in my use of the counter, the campaign manager, and the in Salesforce, when you when you put them in the count, you know, the counter, you got to the same time you put them in the counter, you got to put them in campaign manager, um, and then the campaign manager just instantly is the, automatically puts them in Salesforce. Now you can track when you send out invitations or, or whatever. You can tell tell if they've opened the email or not, and then in the campaign manager there's this little the notes you can use as a conversation log and that always helps picking up that conversation the next time around they're always very receptive when you call them and follow up most of the time they most of the time 90 percent of the time they haven't looked at the saving your future book the email them. and i just like yeah i know and, you know it's not like that book is sitting there right in front of you you know you know reminding you that you need to pick it up and read it you know, it's in a PDF file, and you have to 
you know, but there's, we teach like six different classes out of that book and you go over the classes and ask them, you know, which, which one of these is, you know, important to you. And most of the time they say all of them. So you schedule them for a seven step. And then after the seven step, you schedule them for a follow up and you get, you get to it. The, the, but the big thing is, and it's really hit me this year is that most people aren't making enough money to be able to say, even if they got enough money to cover all their, all their bills and their expenses, they're not making enough money to be able to save enough money so they can have an enough income when they decide that they don't want to work anymore. They're, they, you know, there's, they're going to take a drastic drop in their lifestyle when they do decide to retire unless they start doing something like they get a, they have to take massive action and that is really resonating with me and that's why our ability to build a team and a business that pays you whether you're there or not is very appealing all right have a great saturday